Hey everybody, Phil here with Carcraft Classics. Today showing off my 1968 Chevy C10 pickup. This was a factory short bed truck. Picked it up up in Tennessee. What a gorgeous truck. I'll try not to say that too many times, but I am in love, I'll warn you. Finally got a nice day here. We've had this truck a couple weeks now, um, but the weather's been terrible, so we finally got a nice day. Figured I'd bring it out and shoot a video for all you C10 lovers out there. So let's take a look. I've been told this is a factory green color, but uh, I haven't looked that up. All I know is it looks super, super sharp. It's more of a high-end truck. I'll show you some of the features in a moment. Uh, you see the US mag wheels. I know those aren't cheap. New bumpers. Bumpers look like they've been tucked in closer for that cool contemporary hot rod style. Take a look at those wheels. Got 275 tires in the rear. I think 245s up in front. Got a nice wide footprint for this truck. Those wheels just look so sharp. Hopefully they show up good on the video. Let me get out of the way here. But uh, there'll be still shots on the video. For, I mean on the website of course for you to see all this. New set of mirrors. Paint looks fresh, although I don't have any paperwork. Can't be more than two or three years old, if it's even that old. But uh, again, really sharp truck. Let's take a look under the hood. Got a nice 350 small block engine to compartments, completely detailed from the wheel wells, uh, inner fender wells to the firewall. Even that new heater box back there on the firewall looks to be brand new. Very, very nice. Even the hoses look, they still have the part numbers on them but uh, anyway engines painted power steering power disc brakes up front drums in the rear you see the headers wrapped with the heat tape valve covers are really really in good shape air cleaner cover is uh, in great shape too four barrel carb under there again it's power disc brakes you see the booster there the dual reservoir master cylinder brand new reservoir for the power for the washer fluid so you can see, this is a recent build, brand new radiator. Hopefully you can see that down there. All the lines, fresh, steering box, fresh and new. Frame rails, in excellent condition. Needless to say, everything works on this truck. Uh, blower motor for the heat. Does not have AC, but remember, you know, Carcraft Classics, we can add AC. Uh, one of the other things I do to this truck, you'll see in a moment, the seat doesn't really match. Uh, it's in great shape, doesn't have any tears, but it just doesn't match. So we were thinking about covering that in black vinyl, but we'll let our customer, whoever buys the truck, decide what they want. But even hood hinges, all new. Hopefully you can see that well. I know it's super sunny today. Really, really sharp, sharp underneath of the hood, painted to match. Again, this is a 68 model, my favorite. Uh, so it's got that steel kind of three bar look to the front grill. Really, really sharp. Polished the bezels the other day, got them as good as we could. C truck really, really presents well. Bumpers seem to be brand new. Like I said, they look like they've been tucked to uh, give that more cool contemporary look. Sorry about the shade here on this side. This is a nice profile shot of the driver's side of the truck. The bed's been uh, covered with a with a spray-in style bed liner. It doesn't have the wood, which is nice for a change. I mean, they all have that. The wood is very, very nice. I'm not discounting it. Just nice to see somebody mix it up a little bit and Hey, you can use this. You can actually throw things back here, your, your chair on your way to your cruise in or your car show, and not worry about damaging any wood or throw a couple sheets of plywood back there or sheetrock, whatever you need. You can buy this thing and enjoy it at the shows, but also it's practical and can be used. Of course, this, again, is a factory short bed, big back window truck, of course, the most desirable. Um, Super, super sharp. There she is. Down here at the coming 
fairgrounds. This is where we always shoot our little photo shoots for our cars. Really love the city of Cumming and appreciate them letting us use this facility to, to take the pictures. What a gorgeous day today, finally. It feels like it's been raining forever. Anyway, let's take a look underneath. Dual exhaust. Seems to be brand new. Hopefully you can see that on the video. It's all detailed under here. Coil springs. Rear end. Brand new shocks. Frame rails are in excellent shape. Underneath is beautiful. Nice surprise underneath this truck. It has the, the 700R overdrive transmission and a 12 volt. So she can handle all the horsepower you're gonna, you're gonna put in there. But man, she drives great right now. You don't really need to change anything. But it is nice having that overdrive transmission. I was excited to see that on this truck. So many of them have the turbo 350 and 400 and there's nothing wrong with those. But as we all know, if you don't have the right gear, it's tough to get her down the highway. It feels like it needs another gear. So this one shifts into fourth gear, I guess about 50 miles an hour. And that's it. That tack drops down. And, uh, and you have that overdrive gear. Just one more shot of the side profile in the sun so you can see it. Okay. So there she is in all her glory. 1968 C10. Let's take a look on the inside and fire it up. Let you hear it. Wipers work, lights work, gauges work. And speaking of the gauges, you're going to like this, C10 lovers. This guy, I know this term, phrase, what have you, is beaten to death. But he spared no expense. Sorry to use the cliche, but anyway, you can see the seat is green, but just doesn't really match the green color on the outside. I think that needs to be black vinyl to match the door panels. And again, we can take care of that for you. Uh, the truck also doesn't have air, as I mentioned, and we can also install that for you if the customer wants. We'll wait to have the customer dictate to us what, what they want done. We can always leave those things as is and discount the truck further, if that's what you would prefer. Or we can add those items or features to the, uh, to the cost of the vehicle. So look what we have here, brand new set of classic instruments, vintage gauges, just gorgeous. They've kind of got that off-white color to them, give it that older look. All of them work. Speedo seems to be um, dialed in correctly, seems to read correctly. Got all the gauges down below. The voltmeter, the, the fuel, the gas, everything works. Gas gauge, oil pressure water temperature, RPMs, everything's in working condition, even the clock. And look what we have here on the steering column, overdrive. You see it right there. So that's nice that that's been changed as well. Again, a little bit more of a higher end build. Comfort grip steering wheel, nice feature. Okay, take a look over here. We have one of those new auto sound vintage style stereos. Works real well. It does have heat, no air, as I mentioned. Beautiful paint is taken throughout here, continued throughout. Really, really looks great. All right. I did it. Polished tilt steering wheel. Really, again, the guy spared no expense. I'll stop saying that though, sorry. <laughs> anyway. Their headliners all painted to match the truck. Let's take a listen. Oh, look under there. I'd like to show you that too because I know some guys care about this, but looks like everything is new on this truck, even the heater box. This is all in great shape. If you're looking for a turnkey truck that needs maybe one or two little things based on your taste, this is it. And she runs and drives really, really well, especially with that overdrive trans. Let's fire it up and take a listen. Alright, so she's got a decent cam in it uh, to give you that good sound, but uh, not something where you need a big stall converter to keep her running at the traffic lights. Kind of a 
the best of both worlds. Take a listen. Once I laid eyes on this one, I had to have it. I'm sure there's people out there that are going to feel the same way after watching this video. No dents in the bed or in the wheel wells, the inner fender wells here. Everything's in really, really good shape. The trim. The truck does have a title. I know that's not always the case in the state of Georgia, but I do have a title. Let's give a listen. So again, a little bit of a hot rod. It's got that decent low sound to it at, uh, you know, low idle. And, um, you know, it's just not over the top where need to feed it at the traffic lights before she's going to stall or she's lunging forward or anything like that okay that's our 68 c10 i really appreciate you watching uh, the price on this vehicle is going to be 29.9 we want to keep it under that thirty thousand dollar mark because it does need that seat recovered and i want to leave room in there to be able to do that for whoever the buyer is and uh i know these trucks Normally bring thirty, thirty-five thousand dollars, but uh, we're trying to stay in that affordable range, so people interested don't end up in divorce court if they decide to purchase it, or having to deplete their 401k, as we always say. Certainly, this truck could not be built for twenty-nine nine. But uh, give us a holler if you want to make an offer. If you have any questions, again, my name is Phil, and uh, it's Carcraft Classics is the name of the company and uh, we can be reached either on my cell at 770-317-1415 or via email at carcraftclassics at gmail.com and then check us out on the web so you can see the uh, we're going to take about 25 pictures of this truck and uh, and there'll be build details as well and that's carcraftclassics.com again thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it God bless America.